2020 season. We are here at Flamingo Land in North Yorkshire. So you can see we're here on February half term. So I don't think all the rides will be working, but we've never been here before. So we're excited to get inside and see the rides. <laughs> Here we are, ready to go, waiting for the green light to go on the cars. Good. That's Mumbo Jumbo. And there she is, seems to be flying ahead. I'm not having much luck, my car seems to be breaking down every two minutes. I think we're gonna get going, off we go. Let's see if we can catch Layla and Logan up. Oh, I'm broken out again. Oh, there. Good shot, Mumbo Jumbo, we looks like we're catching her up. Oh, nearly. She's getting away. Oh, here we go. We're coming in for the overtake. We can't handle it. Here we go. Up the hill. <gasps> See you later. Boys, we're coming in for the win. Here we are. She's lagging behind all the way over there. This is really good fun. Who's gonna win? We're coming into the checkered flag. Oh, he wins! <laughs> so, as said earlier, we are here at Flamingo Land. Woo! So, it's really, really quiet. It's a February half term. Um, so we've just had a little bit of a look around the park, we've watched the pirate show and we've just been on the fabulous F1 cars and it was it was great. What did you think, Jan? It was good, but I was the winner and Logan, was the, lo Logan was the loser. No, Ooh. Logan was definitely the winner. Anyway, we're on our way around now to Mumbo Jumbo, which I think is the only big ride that's open. So really, really, really excited to go on this. Like I said, never been to Flamingo Land before, but so far really impressed with the rides. It's just a shame a lot of them aren't open but we will definitely, definitely be paying here a visit in the summer. It looks great. Right, we're just walking up the queue for uh, Mumbo Jumbo and there is no queue, there is literally nobody waiting. We've got Leila and Logan uh, who are just walking up the queue with us because we don't know what to do with the baby swap situation but as you can see there is just nobody here so we're definitely going to get more than one ride on here aren't we? Yes, we are. That's if I like it, I'm so scared. Definitely going to get more than one ride because it looks like this is quite separate than the rest of the children's rides for February half term. So we're probably going to do this for a couple of times and then get over to the children's rides where Logan can have a whale of time. So uh, I'll let you know how it is. See you soon. You excited? Yeah. <laughs>
What did you think? She is Mumbo Jumbo on her own. <laughs> Good fun, isn't it? So we have just come off Mumbo Jumbo. I don't know if you can see it there in the background. I think we have been extremely lucky. We both got a front row ride by ourselves. We did a little baby swap, but it was great. Definitely wasn't as intense as I thought. What about you? No, it was really good, really good. A little bit slower than I actually thought it was going to be. But I'll be honest with you, it was really, really good fun, really enjoyable and uh, good. I mean, to be fair, if I was waiting three hours, they said it can be in summer. It's a pretty short ride for three hours wait. But I'll tell you what, for no wait, no queue, absolutely brilliant. Loved it. Definitely thought it was a lot smoother than it, than it looks and not as intense, but I really enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, we'll definitely be going back on that later on in the day. Right now we're off to find some smaller rides for Logan. Hello. So just having a quick look at this for the summer, Splish Splash, it looks like it's sort of like a splash park, which I think would be absolutely fantastic in the summer. The little pirate ship really really nice theming in this theme park which i didn't expect here's another one that looks great for the summer i'm not quite sure what it is but you will get wet on this ride um, it looks like some sort of coaster but you can see you've got the water guns here so again i just think another great ride to come when it's the good weather now i've seen on some of the other vlogs um, flip flop going round. It's a shame it's not running today. It looks like a fab little ride. Um, but yeah, again, it's just part and parcel. We've paid a good price coming today. Unlimited rides on Mumbo Jumbo, but it's just the incentive to come back in the summer. Do you definitely there's more good rides than I thought there would be. did you think Logan of Zoom? <laughs> Was it good? I think that means yes. <laughs> uh oh, someone has been naughty jumping in puddles, haven't you? Like butter wouldn't melt. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
We can see the cheetah down there. Is it out in the mud? Just to give you an indication of the weather, it is so windy and we are on the top of this Ferris wheel. Look at the weather! Yes. <laughs> Still having fun though. Keep your hat on, you uh -oh. crazy baby. <laughs> wow. It's too windy! <laughs> <laughs> Wanted the hat off, <laughs> but then he knows he best keep it on. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> oh, you snuck back. <laughs> The Twistosaurus. Unfortunately, Logan's not big enough to ride this as much as he's trying to. And this one actually has a certificate for the oldest person to ride a roller coaster. 105 years old. Hopefully that'll be me <laughs> in a few years. John pedalling away there, like he's at the gym. <laughs> Next up, we have Go Gator. This looks like a, a small little coaster in the form of an alligator. Uh, and as you can see from the sign, it's children only, so hopefully Logan will be able to go on this. I'll get some shots of him going round. Well, he's on. As you can see there, his mum is just strapping him in, ready to go. Looks like it should be good fun. He's got his usual shock and awe face on, uh, but hopefully they'll enjoy it. Here we are, ready to go in Mischief Mansion. So this looks like it is a, a little kind of, I think it's a walkthrough haunted house, I think. Uh, but again, uh, no real minimum height as long as you're with an adult. So Logan's fine to go in. Are you ready to go in? Spooky, let's go. So just to give you a update, uh, you can't really see me because it is very dark in here, but actually I was wrong, it, it looks like it's a, uh, a dark ride, a tractor dark ride, so it should be great, to be fair. Are we all excited? Yes, just like the Haunted Mansion. He's so excited, he's taking his hat off. I don't know where he is. And we've lost the hat now. Little Baldy. Little Baldy. So we've just come off uh, Mischief Mansion, which was the tracked uh, dark ride, uh, Haunted Mansion version for kids. It was uh, really good fun, what did you think? Yeah, it was really good. Just like the Haunted Mansion, wasn't it? <laughs> exactly the same. No, it was really good actually, it was good to be fair. Good fun, and what I would say is it was really well decorated inside. Uh, the only shame was that the, the, the decoration is so good that because the ride vehicle doesn't turn, you're constantly looking over your shoulder. But you know what, really good again, hardly any queue. Uh, yeah, really enjoyed it, good fun. So we've just come through, I think this is the start of the zoo area. I think the main zoo's through there, but you can see we've got some Shetland ponies, we've got some stables, we've got a Muddy Duck farm. Um, we've got a teddy mountain that's closed, we've got a coach house which I presume is some sort of food and ale. 
We've got the cars that go around, and then there's a, there's like a play centre over there. I think with some more like reptile animals. So yeah, really good, isn't it? Really good, yeah. Someone's enjoying himself. So we've just uh, we've just grabbed something quick to eat at the uh, Muddy Duck Cafe. Uh, it's a bit like a Costa, really, uh, just branded as a Muddy Duck Cafe. But it has toasties, sausage rolls. We didn't film any of it. We just grabbed some sausage rolls and toasties and some things for Logan that he enjoyed. So we're back out now. I think it's about two o'clock, quarter past two. So we've got a couple of hours before the park shuts. So we're going to start grabbing on some uh, uh, more children's rides. Logan having a great time, and hopefully see some animals at the zoo. See you soon. Here we are, Heli Toys. Hello. Here they are, ready to go on the Heli Toys. As you can see, this is a uh, kind of helicopter spinning ride for children. Looks like they should have uh, some good fun. Looks like we're going to head towards the tractor ride. Is it called the tractor ride? Oh, are you ready? Somebody loves tractors. Uh, so, here we go, time to get on, have some fun. Hold on. Someone's driving the tractor. Steal your wheel. That's another that tractor. You waving? Wow! <laughs> it's the three Billy Goats Gruff. Wow. What do you think of the goats? He's just steering the tractor. Oh, Red tractor, there's Bertie. So Layla, what do you think of the two rides you've just been on? The helicopter ride and the tractor ride? Well, I think Logan absolutely loved it, didn't Did you, you like the helicopter and, uh, and um, helicopter and tractor? Well, I think he's just spotted the train coming in. Oh, it's not <laughs> just any train though, is it? It's the people mover. It's the people mover. Yeah, we're back on the people mover. So this looks like it's a train that takes you just uh, to one point and back. Um, but yeah, it should be good. Plus, Logan loves trains, so off they go. So we're just at the top of the uh, people mover. As you can see, you got some good views of the park. Train for Logan. Bit of a queue to get on. But yeah, and that new coaster, the one that's uh, opening this year with 10 inversions, Looks great, great bit of skyline. As you can see, this is the car park here where you park on. Uh, and then that's where you pay just down there, straight over. We're on the train. Probably see, you'll probably have just seen some shops there uh, of some ride construction. So that's the new ride uh, with apparently 10 inversions that's going up here uh, at Flamingo Land. As you can see, I think it's due to open in spring, so whether they get that open for the start of the season in March, 
but it looks like it's nearly ready. So yeah, 10 inversions, looks like it's going to be a big coaster, we'll definitely have to come back and try it. Looks good. So we've just come off the people mover, um, we did a journey there and back, it was really good, we got some good shots of some of the coasters, especially the new coaster that's coming later on in the year. Um, and yeah, what did you think? It was pretty good, <laughs> it was good, we went both ways, we didn't realise you had to get off at the other end, which is near Mambo Jambo, so we got back on, but it was good, and now we're looking at some Mumbo Mumbos. Some Mumbo Mumbos? Don't know what they are. I think the meerkats. It's a bit of mumbo mumbo. I stand corrected that actually mungo mungos. So we're now inside this the children's world, children's planet. So there's loads of little um, enclosures here and I think they've got things like porcupines and meerkats and things like that a few of the animals well most of the animals aren't out today because it's so cold um, but as you walk through you've got this huge play area with loads of slides and everything which again obviously it's an all-year-round thing and um, Logan loves slides so this will be great for him I imagine we'll be spending a little bit of time here and um, yeah it looks really cool I've just noticed here as well there's sort of like a stage area, so I don't know if this is for an animal talk or if it's for, I don't know, a show or something. But, um, oh, look, they must have some warthogs. I might go and have a look for one. So apparently here are the warthogs. I don't think they're out today. No pumas. Also not seeing any Timones either. I know I said there was no Pumbas, but there's some Timones. The meerkats are out, even in the cold. Look at them looking out there, so cute. Here they are, look at them, they're so cute. Hello. 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 <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Unbelievable. So just as we're about to leave, I know I said there was no Pumbas, but here he is. Look at him, he's so cute with his little pink nose. Oh. So now we're off to the zoo. We've only got about an hour left. Um, and we've not even seen any of the zoo. Like, even though it's half term and everything's closed, there's been so much to do. So, yeah, we're going to head over to the zoo now. Um, hopefully show you guys some of the animals that are brave in the cold. Um, and, yeah, we'll see you over there. <laughs> oh, wow. He looks like he's got the hump. <laughs> Look at those camels. They are big, healthy camels. <laughs> Some of my other favourite animals, which are the giraffes. Absolutely beautiful. Look at them. And it's looked like they've got a guest. This ostrich. Yeah. 
This is just fantastic. Look at these hippos. Oh, brilliant. Don't know if you can see down there, but some black rhinos. They look dead cute considering they're so dangerous. Hello. So we are just in the Wallaby walkthrough and we've got some very cute wallabies. Quite friendly actually, coming right up to the, the fence. Hello. So we've just finished our day here at Flamingo Land. And what did you think? Really good, really enjoyed it. I think, uh, obviously it's February half term, so not all the big rides are open, but if you've got anybody toddler age, probably up to about six, seven years old, they'll absolutely love it. I mean, let's be fair, it's cost us £12.50 each to get in. Logan was free, so pretty much £25 we spent to come in and we've been here all day and we've just about got everything in. Absolutely fantastic. Well, I was going to say there was a couple of rides that we actually missed because we actually filled the day. We intended to go back to Mumbo Jumbo, didn't we? Didn't get time. No, no. Um, and we didn't do everything twice, did yeah, we? So yeah. it was absolutely, honestly, for February half term, considering you know there wasn't meant to be that much open it was really really good value for money i'd definitely come back in the half term yeah, um, absolutely. but we, we definitely want to come back in the summer don't we yeah yeah i mean can't wait that new ride that uh, obviously we've got some fuss job before with 10 inversions looks like it's going to be really good uh, obviously there's velocity which is the uh, the coma booster bike as well uh, looking forward to getting on that so yeah really can't wait to come back but it's a tale of two halves isn't it if you come back with a with a toddler you obviously have to do the zoo and everything else but i just don't think you would fit in all day so potentially when we do come back with lara as well we'll end up staying over i imagine and doing it for two days to get everything in well that's the difference we'll come back with the teenager the next time hopefully she won't want to stay at home with her friends um, hopefully we'll be cool enough for it. Yeah. No, yes, yeah, so it's been fantastic. Absolutely loved it. <laughs> really good day, but nice to take you with us. Um, thanks for watching if you've watched, and we will see you in the next vlog. Don't forget, if you like what you see, subscribe to the videos. See you soon. <laughs>